Hi, I'm David. I'm the technical writer here at Encore, and today I'm going to be running you through the basics of creating labels and videos in the Encore platform. First of all, start off by selecting your project, then navigating to the queue to see what tasks are available to you, and finally initiating a task by clicking the Initiate button here. Now this brings us to the label editor, where we're going to be creating our labels. Before we create any labels, I'm going to use this timeline here to jump to a convenient spot for the purpose of demonstration, where I can actually clearly see an object which I'm going to be labeling. Now, when I'm ready to create a label, I'm going to select the object here on the left, in this case, a bounding box, which will represent a chicken. I'm going to click on one part of the editor and then click again when I'm done creating the box to create my label. After a label has been created, it appears down here on our timeline and it shows us exactly where in the video this label appears. It also appears under instance labels here, where we can see a chicken has been labeled on frame 77. This brings us to a very important point, and that is the distinction between instances and objects. Objects are a general category. In this case, the chicken is the object. However, instances are specific objects. So in this case, it's this specific chicken. It means that if we have a frame where there are two different chickens, they'll both be labeled by a chicken object, but be two separate instances of a chicken. Let me quickly show you what I mean. Let's pretend for a second there is a second chicken here in this frame. I would label it as well by clicking the chicken object, creating the label. And as we can see, a second chicken instance has now appeared here on the exact same frame. However, since we only have this one chicken in our frame, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to click the label and then click the backspace button to delete it. To create a new label of the same instance, we will have to jump to a next frame here where it's the same chicken. And then I'm going to click the link instantiate object button. This will allow me to draw a new label for the same instance of this chicken. As you can see, we are now told that this chicken appears on frame 77 as well as 121. Next, you can always edit labels after they've been created. To do so, simply click the label and then either drag it to reposition the label or click and then move one of the corners to resize the label as needed. Finally, after clicking a label, any attributes available for that class are going to appear here on the left. So for example, we have a dynamic attribute here. We can choose whether the chicken is walking, sitting, or standing. It looks to be mid stride here. So I'm just going to select walking and then click the done button in the bottom left corner here to confirm my selection. The attribute we have just selected is also indicated here in our chicken instance, saying that the action walking is taking place on frame 121. Besides object labels, we can also create frame levels that apply to the entire frame. So here, for example, we can choose a classification, day or night. I'm going to select day, since this looks bright enough, we can guess that this is daytime. And finally, we have to choose where this classification applies. Does it apply to only a certain range? Does it apply only to this frame? I'm going to say it applies to this frame and I also want to save this classification. So I'm going to click this here. Regularly save your progress to make sure any labels that you create are not lost if the browser, for example, crashes or you accidentally exit the task. Simply click the save button up here and it saves all of your progress. Up here, you can find a bunch of useful tools to make your life as an annotator a bit easier. You can, for example, rotate the image in various orientations. You can leave a comment for a reviewer to see later if you're having any issues or want them to know something, or you can zoom in or out of the video. However, I would recommend learning the keyboard shortcuts, in this case, shift up or shift and the down key to zoom in and out of the image. Importantly, once you've zoomed in, you probably want to click shift and then click and drag the image to focus on a particular part of the image. Finally, Use the center image button to return things back to the way they were when you first entered the label editor. For more information on this topic, be sure to check out our documentation. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next one.